Happy Monday, guys. Okay, this is totally off the cuff. Was not planned to make this video, um, but so many of you on Facebook were interested in my recipe for this sage stuffing bread, so I figured I would make a quick video, um, and I'm gonna post the recipe down below in the description box for you guys. So I'm gonna tell you really fast what's in this. Um, this original idea, of course, stemmed from um, my sister friend, uh, Noreen, over at Noreen's Kitchen. I will leave a link up above in a card so you guys can go over and check out her original video. Um, this recipe has been tweaked for my family and it very much resembles my grandmother's sage stuffing. So um, I've kind of tweaked it for that. Feel free to tweak this to fit your needs and your family's likes. Um, you definitely don't need to add the extra sage. You don't have to add the cornmeal. Um, you don't even have to add all the black pepper. Uh, my grandma's sage was always very peppery and very sagey. And it was, ugh, it was so fantastic. And then my mother made it just like her mom. And um, this bread you don't need anything with it. All I do is um, I saute um, an onion, some celery, uh, in a little bit of butter, and then I add it to the bowl with these. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice this up, cube it up, put it in my dehydrator tomorrow, dry it out, and then it'll be ready for Thanksgiving just to use as bread cubes. You don't have to add any additional seasoning with this. It's literally add your onion, add your... Um, your celery that you saute both in butter and then I go ahead and I add some chicken stock or some turkey stock to this until it's just moist enough and then put it in a um, baker a baking dish and bake it in your oven and it will turn out perfect it's so easy it makes Thanksgiving go by quicker <laughs> you know um, when, when you're cooking you know and you're baking so many things not having to worry about seasoning my stuffing just makes the e just makes it easier for me so this is two cups of warm water two tablespoons of instant yeast a quarter cup of sugar a quarter cup of potato flakes a quarter cup of milk powder uh, a quarter cup of cornmeal you do not have to add the cornmeal my grandmother's uh, stuffing never had cornmeal um, my family enjoys it though, Matt enjoys it, so I, I threw some in last minute. Uh, two eggs, six tablespoons of softened butter, five to six cups of bread flour. Start with five and then add a little extra only if you need it. Um, you might not need it. Uh, two teaspoons of sea salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, two tablespoons of poultry seasoning, one teaspoon extra of ground sage because like I said, um, my family makes it very sagey. Uh, one teaspoon of granulated garlic, one teaspoon of granulated onion, one tablespoon of dried parsley, I use my home dehydrated parsley, and one tablespoon of dried chives. I will leave the, that recipe down below so you guys can copy it or take a picture of it. It just makes making stuffing so easy and it's so good. So this just came out of the oven actually not too long ago. And I'm gonna try to set you up here on my, <laughs> oh, can I do that? I might need something a little shorter. Hold on, I'm trying to set you up on my stove here. <laughs> Cause I don't have a tripod. So I literally just grabbed my camera and um, ran here. So this is for all of my sisters over on Facebook <laughs> that wanted this recipe. So I'm just going to go ahead. Now, normally I would let this cool completely. I would not cut into it until it's completely cool because it does mess with the, um, the moisture of your bread and your bread drying out. But I want you guys to see what this looks like inside. And it's a really soft bread and it's really delicious. So here we go. Now I don't bother putting butter on it or anything like that because it doesn't need it um, but you'll see it's beautiful it's gonna be a little clotchy just because I cut into it when it's hot or, or still let's say very warm but um there's the slice and <laughs> the kids came up running upstairs and said mommy what's that smell I said it's bread honey it's for stuffing can we have a piece can we have a piece <laughs> smells that good it smells like Thanksgiving in my house so as you can see it's a very it's a very very soft bread um, this bread I will also be making uh, the weekend after um, 
Thanksgiving when we have leftovers because this is the bread I'm going to smear the cranberry jalapeno pepper jelly on. You put leftover turkey on this with some butter crunch lettuce, some red, um, some thinly sliced red onion, a couple of tomato slices. It's gonna be so good. And this bread is gonna be perfect because it's gonna taste like stuffing. So anyway, I hope this helps. I, uh, if you guys give this a try, let me know. Um, I know Noreen makes hers with uh, wheat uh, flour. Um, I find this rise is, it rises easy, you know, easier, faster. Um, and my grandma's bread never had whole wheat in it. So this tastes the most like my grandmother's stuffing right from Wales. <laughs> it's fantastic. And it brings back so many good memories of my childhood, especially since my grandma and my mom are no longer here. This bread um, and this stuffing just makes it taste like they're still at the table with us. So anyway, I hope this helps you guys. Um, like I said, I'll leave the link to Noreen's video uh, over there. This one, because it does not have the whole wheat, it does not need as long to rise. So this one takes about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes to rise the first time. Then you're going to, of course, punch it down, um, roll it, divide it in half because this makes, this recipe will make you two loaves. Divide it in half, put it in your pan. Um, I do use a little bit of nonstick spray. You can use a little olive oil. I just use coconut oil. Um, let it rise another half hour to 40 minutes, uh, just until it doubles in size, and then I bake it at 350 degrees for 30 minutes and it comes out perfect. You can brown it a little bit more um, if you wanna stick it in there another five minutes or so, but this is for stuffing and I don't want it really, you know, browned. Um, I want it just baked perfectly. So it's a beautiful bread, guys, and it's perfect for stuffing. So if you give this a try, let me know. You guys gotta come back and let me know. <laughs> I hope this was helpful to some of you. So with that, I'm going to wrap it up. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys soon. <laughs> Bye, guys. I, I love this bread 100,000 times. Oh, I, you do? I, I, I get you it. like it too? You do? It's a winner? <laughs> Little did they know they had it last year too. But they just don't. Okay, Matt just came home from work. And I'm making them taste the bread for you guys. And you don't even know what kind of bread it is. Oh wait, I did. I texted you. I told you I was making stuffing bread. Mm. Sage stuffing bread. You like? Tastes just like, like stuff. stuffing in a bread. <laughs> I'm gonna make some. Uh, I'm gonna make some for um, leftover turkey sandwiches. <laughs> this is fantastic. You like it? Mmm. It's got that. Tastes like my grandma's. Minus the cornmeal. She never used cornmeal, but I know everybody likes the cornmeal. Little added extra cornmeal. Is there like a little bit of sage in there? Oh yeah, there's extra sage in oh, there. Oh, yeah, mm, I can yeah. taste it. It's good. I like a, that's one of the times that sage is really good in, in stuffing. So that's one of those flavors you, you're used to, you know, growing up. Well, I made sage it. stuffing. Uh, yeah. Well, it was about time to make it. <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> Good, thanks for trying it for us. <laughs>